welcome to my channel. It is bright out here. Like, it's bright. It's because there's literally snow on the ground right now. Um, if you guys are new, my name's Shaughnessy, and I um, am going to be showing you guys some stuff in American Eagle today. I just want to go straight in there. I'm literally sitting right outside the mall right now. Um, I feel like they've had a lot of good stuff online and I've just really been wanting to like shop their store so I'm gonna go in try on some pieces um, I'll try to link everything below that I find if you guys want to pick it up I feel like American Eagle does a good job of like having really good basics and really good discounts I might go into Aerie I'm not really sure I'm gonna go into American Eagle first um, depending on like what I find or don't find in there um, I'm gonna also go into Aerie if I find anything else that I um, or if I don't find like enough good stuff you know and I'll let you guys know in the dressing room and then um, after that I want to go over to Starbucks and get my Starbucks order I feel like I am just like a huge Starbucks person and I just like need a drink. I probably needed a Starbucks drink like three hours ago. So, uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, comment below if there's any other stores that you guys want to see me like shop in. Um, I used to actually do these shop with me videos like literally all the time because like, I don't know, I think like shopping can be really hard when you're buying stuff online but when you see someone wear it who has a similar body type to yours it just makes it easier um i'm 5'7 for your reference and um i wear like a size medium on the regular for tops and um for bottoms i usually wear a size six to eight somewhere in there usually with american eagle i'll wear six and then other places i'll wear like an eight for jeans um even though I don't really wear jeans very often. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably know that like I wear neutrals all the time and like stuff like this, it's like big and oversized. So even though I'm typically a size medium, I almost always at least size up one size because I like everything to be oversized. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a fun day. Lots of like trying on stuff and shopping to see what I like. Um, I have a little coupon actually. It's like a little, I think it's like $10 off. Yeah, I have um, $10, $25, wow, 25% off one item and then a $10 reward for um, the store. So did I, oh, did it expire? Oh, shoot. Okay, I have a couple days, whew, I'm a little nervous. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go do that maybe go into Aerie and then go and get some Starbucks and then we'll head home. Um, my dog is actually at um, Bain. He's at um, my husband's job. He like always takes him there for like a little bit during the day. So I'll probably pick him up and bring him home whenever I head back. So let's get into this little shop with me. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys find some good stuff that you also want to buy. I'm going to try on a ton of stuff and hopefully we can find some good stuff to add into our closets. So let's head into the store and do some shopping. first thing I saw when I came in were these little crop tops. I feel like these are really good with like literally anything. I would probably wear these with like some joggers. So I'm gonna see if they have like a gray and maybe take this into the dressing room just because like these could literally go under shackets, like just under so many different things. Let's see, they have a lot of different colors and these are not my vibe. Okay, so they don't have a gray, but they do have the white, so I think I'm gonna take that. I personally like the ribbed one better than this one, um, just because I like basics. And I'm gonna go with a size, let's see, doo -doo -doo, a size medium, I think. The thing that caught my eye was this little shacket, like, well, not really shacket, but it's a button up. I feel like this would be really cute if you got it in like a really big, oversized vibe i don't know if they have it in a larger size um looks like they only have a large which this might work so i'm gonna still try the large on and see if that will look good with i used crown. to wear a lot more fitted stuff but i don't really anymore so these big t-shirts over here are definitely my vibe but the colors are <laughs> a little off this is probably the color I would grab but I'm not really like digging that graphic let's see if they have a white 
Oh, this is freaking cute. I really like this. Okay, I'm gonna try to find this in an oversized, like an XXL, and um, try to really style. digging this um, hoodie, so I'm gonna try to get this in another oversized. I promise you, it'll all come together. I know you keep thinking like oversized, no, like, it will come together. So I'm gonna grab like the largest size and bring this in the dressing. It looks so soft. I'm gonna try to get it in the lighting so you can see. It's really, really soft, like plush material. I'm not gonna try it on personally, cause, well no, maybe I'll grab it and I'll just wear it with that crop. I probably wouldn't wear it buttoned, but I feel like wearing it unbuttoned would look really cute, so I'm gonna grab this. And they do have a lot of other colors too. I'm also gonna grab this and bring this back there because one, it's really soft. It's a nice little cable knit, and um, they have like a lot of different sizes, so I'm gonna size up in this one too, and get an extra large. And I'll probably try this on with the top down two. the 50 million things that I have in my hands because I wanna try this on, but I wanted to show it to you guys by like holding it. It is a size excess, and it still is really oversized. Like literally, I never would wear an excess in my life. So I'll probably grab like a large, maybe even a medium, which is my true size, but I like how H and or wow, American Eagle like really makes their stuff already pretty oversized so you don't have to constantly like size up. And I feel like whenever it's already oversized, it like sells out not quite as fast because I don't know, maybe it's just on my head, but I feel like that's the way it is. So these are only $19.99 and I'm gonna grab the large and medium just to show you guys the difference Let's see. there's a lot of smalls here and these are still really i might even need to get a small oh my gosh i might even need to get a small okay so this is a small and i still feel like it's pretty big so i think i don't know maybe i'll just get my true size i think i'm gonna get a medium I feel like I'm so indecisive because I've never seen a sweater that's already oversized. This is the medium. It's literally so big already. I think I'll stick with the medium. I think it's like a big enough size. And then they also have like a beige one, which I think is just as cute, but I already grabbed a ton of beige stuff. So I need to like slow my roll in that one. And I'm gonna just get the gray one or at least try it on. And you guys can kind of get the vibe of what this one would look like. And then I'm gonna try these on with my joggers because that's probably how I would wear it or with some trousers. Another thing that's great about American Eagle is they have some of the best crews. I feel like they're really soft, but they almost give you that like vintage vibe. Like you can see in the inside, they're super, super soft. I'm honestly not gonna try them on mostly cause uh, maybe I will. I just, I have so many crews from them that I feel like I really do not need another one, but I wear them so much that it just wouldn't make sense for me not to try on another one. So we are gonna try on, let's see, an XL, perfect, perfect. This is literally, the size I would wear, probably not the color, but I think that this will give you guys a good idea of what it'll look like on your body if you like to wear pretty much like oversized stuff all the time. Now you guys know I usually stick to my Fabletics leggings, but I'm gonna have to try these because honestly these look like very similar material. I usually get a size medium, um, but I am gonna size up to a large because that's literally all they have, and I can tell you if they're like too small or too big or if you should stick with your regular size or right, size so I'm over by the like jogger section honestly the whole store i feel like is a jogger section because like that's what people are wearing which is cool because like that's my vibe um but i see that they have joggers here that look so soft that i just have to try them on um i they actually kind of look similar to the joggers i'm wearing right now I don't know if they're gonna be online or not. I will link them though, if you guys want them. These are the mediums. I'm gonna size up to a large just because personally I always size up in joggers. I just feel like if I'm gonna wear something, I wanna be comfortable and I don't wanna feel like it's like too tight on my skin, you know? Granted, this does have a lot of stretch in the front um, and really all around, which is nice. Um, so I'm gonna try to dig through here and see if they have a large. Oh, they do, oh good. Um, but I'll try it on and I'll let you guys know if like I would prefer sizing up or if I prefer sticking my regular size so you guys can have an idea. The inside of this material is like really, really soft and plush, um, which is nice. And then I'm gonna pair it, I think, with 
this little crop top. Um, I feel like I don't typically wear stuff that has like patterns or like a lot of colors, but whenever it's like a pretty neutral tone color, I feel like I can stick with it if I'm wearing like a neutral bottom. So I'm gonna probably put both of these together um, or maybe wear this with the leggings that I picked up over there. Cause I feel like that would also be cute. Maybe like an after workout attire. Like I literally worked out this morning and then I threw on this crew neck, which is great, but it's so hot. Um, so this would be nice to wear like that or just like going to Starbucks, going to eat coffee. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this though, not an extra small. I'm probably gonna get it in a medium because, well, maybe I won't. It looks like they might only have extra small. Um, oh good, okay, they do have a medium. I'm gonna get it in a medium because usually I get crop tops that are a large, so I do usually size up. But if they're wide underneath the arms like this, I don't because I find that if they're a crop and they're wide under the arms, they just continue to get more and more wide underneath the arms. And so I always stick with my true size if it's a crop top that has like all that excess underneath the arms. Does that make sense? So I'll show you guys whenever I get inside, try it on. I'm sure I'm gonna like it. I shop almost 100% of the time online because I feel like I have a good idea of what looks good on my body and I also know like fits and like cuts of things so I just don't have to worry about it fitting um, but I'm gonna try it on to show you guys and then I'm gonna take home what I wanna buy and then leave what I don't. I kind of already have, have an idea of what I want um, but I'll let you guys figure out and maybe like drop in the comments what you think I'm actually gonna keep or put away. I put pretty much everything in here already, but I um, brought a couple more things. So I have all the sweaters from earlier. Let me put up this stuff really quickly um, and then I'll show you guys everything. So I have done. 11 items and I'm gonna try to like mix and match them so you guys can get a good idea of like if you bought one piece, how you could wear it in a ton of different ways because that's kind of how I wear all of my stuff. I feel like I don't ever buy anything now. I'm just gonna wear once because I feel like what's the point, you know? So um, I have some sweaters, I have some t-shirts, I have some cardigans, like short and long. And then I have joggers, leggings, um, this little like plaid number, and then I have some hoodies. So like a lot of, like a really good mix, but all of them are in the same like color family, like gray, um, beige, white, and that's like what I stick to. And I feel like it makes it a lot easier to be able to like mix and match. Like if you wear color like four power to you, I just personally love wearing like neutral stuff because I feel like it makes it so easy just to like mix and match everything and I don't ever have to worry about things not fitting together um, and I pretty much wear everything that's like super casual so it just makes it even easier to match when you don't have to have like half your stuff that's like beige and like for like really business attire and then like half of it being like casual I just get pretty much everything casual and then just mix and match it all together um so even if I have like some business meeting of some kind I still will literally wear like I don't know a trench over top of a super casual outfit just to dress it up just because like that's what I like so um, I'm gonna show you all these on um and hopefully they look really good and ooh, that literally is just that noise is showing me I have a literal package on the way let me see what the package is oh i just got a package oh it just shipped okay so it's not gonna be here um yeah so anyway i'm gonna try all these on and i'll let you guys know what i think of the sizes and like all the colors and stuff right, together this is the first outfit and i got this crew neck in a size extra large i freaking love this i actually so the crew neck i was wearing earlier from nike is an xxl um just because i usually have to size up in pretty much everything and this like I mean, obviously I sized up, but I didn't have to size up like a million sizes, um, which is just like really nice. And it looks really good. It is a little, um, it's not like crazy thick, which I think is nice because we're obviously going into spring. Um, it's really soft though. I think I showed you guys the inside of this, but it's just like an unreal material. I really, really love this material. Um, and honestly, they just have an insanely like soft line and this might be part of that line. It's literally called the super soft line. Um, so yeah, love this top. Um, it's probably one of my favorites, even though it's like a navy, I think it still goes in like the gray like color family. And then um, I also love how big and baggy the sleeves are, which it just, I don't know, it just does it for me. So love this. And then these are um, 
the leggings so i would say size up in the leggings i typically wear a size medium and these fit really really well um but these are large so if you're gonna like buy these leggings um definitely size up i do really like them they're super super soft um they're squat proof it looks like so oh my gosh my knees just cracked <laughs> so like they literally didn't move which is really nice um i don't have to feel like i need to keep pulling them up um over and over again they have pockets on the side which is perfect if you're gonna like work out in them or just like wear them to get like starbucks or something um they're really cute and this is probably how i would wear them honestly i probably should have pulled them up a little bit more um but they're hitting like right at my crotch which is like nice um but you definitely could pull them up even more they do have a really really high rise which i think is perfect for us ladies um especially if we're like wanting to work out because i always get so nervous that my leggings are literally gonna fall um so these are perfect and wow i'm out of breath literally from doing that one squat like who am i um so yeah love this this outfit i give a 10 out of 10 um i'd probably wear this every day it's just my vibe i probably just because you guys know i'm crazy about sizing up i'd probably size up one size i know the average person probably would not size up one size in um this crew personally i just would um i like my crotch to be like covered you know what i mean and it's like almost covered but not quite i like it to be like right there um so i would probably just size up just just a smidge um but you don't have to i mean i would i love this i gave it a 10 out of 10 because it's a 10 out of 10 so um i'm gonna try on another outfit and i'm gonna wear these same leggings for the next this sweater is un real it's so soft but not like too thin or too thick which i love it also has these like big puff sleeves at the bottom which i think is like a little nice detail um i got mine i think yeah i got it in a size medium and it's perfect i would not size up at all like this is literally the sweater of my dreams it's so soft um i feel like the beige would probably be even better um but i would literally wear this outfit just like this um obviously not the nike socks or the nike hat because you know it's just not with the you know sweater vibe but I would wear it just like this um probably wear some like doc martens um i think really cute boots would look nice with this um and it's just like really cute so yeah i love this and i love how it has like the two different tones i think it just adds something to it like i said it's really really soft um it's not one of those sweaters that you're gonna have to worry about it like constantly like nicking you know what i mean like some sweaters it just seems like they really fall apart this one definitely has a thickness to it but it's not like crazy thick where it is like making you feel like you're a marshmallow but it's not so like soft or thin that you're feel gonna have to feel like it's gonna nick on everything so yeah it's a great sweater love this one um i would probably give this one the sweater itself maybe like a i don't know i want to give it a 10 like honestly but then i just keep thinking in my head there's no way that everything that i'm wearing is going to be a 10 um i don't know i'll just give it a 10 i'm giving it a 10 love it this sweater's cute and it's 19.99 so you can't really beat that price so yeah giving it a 10 so 10 this is 10. the last outfit with the leggings um i just wanted to show you guys these leggings with this crop top because i feel like this is just the perfect outfit um i hope you're getting the idea of what i was saying earlier about like not really needing to size up even though i have a larger chest area i feel like this is not a top that i would want to size up in just because it would literally just get larger underneath the arms um and it's perfect the way that it is um if you did need more length um i personally don't need more length i think that this is like a great length um but if you did need more length i don't think sizing up would give you the length you need because i think it's just going to get like larger underneath the arms but this top is so cute <laughs> Oh, I want to give this another 10 out of 10, but I literally have given two tops 10 out of 10 already. And oh. okay, I'll give this one a nine because this pattern is not what I typically would wear. So I know I'm going to get less wear out of this top, but it is really inexpensive. So I'm going to give it a nine because I literally, this pattern, like I never wear stuff this like pattern. Um, 
so I feel like I probably would not wear this as much. I'd probably only wear it like after a workout um, or something like that. But I think this is so cute. And can you guys see these leggings? Like I feel like they're just giving me like boss girl vibes. I don't know. I just, I feel like I could conquer the world in this outfit or at least just get a really good workout in. <laughs> So yeah, really love this. Um, this is a great like going to co get coffee, um, going to Starbucks, like going to study type look. Um, it's really cute. And they have this in a ton of other like patterns that aren't even tie dye. So they have like, I think a white shirt or white crop top that has like a little heart here. I will say that this material i think that it wrinkles really easily so having it be tie-dye you don't have to worry about it constantly like being wrinkled because you can't really see with the tie-dye um but with another pattern it probably like a white it would probably wrinkle like really easily it might be harder um to like stay on wrinkles so just a thought but I'm giving this one a nine. It's cute. I feel like really good in it. And this is the last outfit I think in the joggers. So, or the leggings. So now I'm going to change into the joggers and you guys can see what those right, look so like. This cardigan is on another level of soft, but also another level of just like freaking cute. Look how baggy those sleeves are. It just is giving me like cozy, cute vibes, everything that I like want in a cardigan. I did size up and that's the thing. I think a lot of people think that if you size up to something, it's gonna be like really ugly, which I mean, sometimes it is. You just have to kind of know like what to size up on and what not to size up on. Um, but like cardigans, um, short or like long um, sweaters, a lot of those things, if you size up on them, it just gets baggier and so it like, it, like look at this this is just so cute um so i really like this cardigan yes ma'am everything working out okay yes thank awesome. you <laughs> they're so nice they're so cute um so this cardigan i feel like is definitely coming home with me because it's i feel like i'm always looking for cardigans that are perfect to wear in the summertime like you know whenever you're outside and like maybe I don't know, I was going to say sitting by, by a fire, but if you live in a city, then you literally have no idea what I'm talking about. But, like, if you get chilly and you have to, like, run in and just grab something to, like, be warm and you don't really know what to grab, I feel like this cardigan is that. Um, and I did size up to an extra large, which is how it has these, like, big baggy sleeves, um, which is exactly what I love in a cardigan. I love it to be big and baggy. Um... This crop top is also super cute. It is like a really nice thick material. These are not super thick, but I think these will be perfect for whenever like summer comes and you're outside and you just like don't want insane tan lines. Um, but for now you can wear it with a cardigan and I love having pieces that you can interchange. So love both of these pieces top and bottom. Um, the joggers super soft not crazy thick um but in a good way like you don't i feel like sometimes i like buying joggers that aren't super thick so i don't feel like i'm like suffocating if i'm inside because typically inside i'm not like my house is really comfortable you know what i mean um so like if i'm outside of course i want something like thick and warm but if i'm inside i just want to kind of be cozy and i feel like these are good for that i feel like american eagle just knew that like all of us are <laughs> literally at home right now um so yeah love these um, I will say make sure that when you do size up, if you do, um, just keep in mind that these are not like joggers that like cinch you in at the waist and go like super high rise. Like they are high, obviously my belly button's right here, but some joggers they like, and I'll try on my joggers maybe later so you guys can see what I'm, no I'm not, let's be real, I'm not putting those back on. Um, but these just are not the type that like suck you in these are just literally for freaking comfort which i love so these would be the type that i would probably wear at home i have a lot of at home joggers and i have joggers that i like wear out and about um i think i would wear these probably more at home because they are more like boxy on your waist they don't go here i'll try to give you like a visual some joggers go like this where they like kind of go up on the sides and so it like gives you almost like an hourglass shape you know what i mean um whereas these kind of go straight across so these are really good for lounging for being comfortable at home um i just probably wouldn't wear them like out and about i hope it's all making sense i literally have a like whole reason to my madness when i'm shopping like it all like comes together and makes sense but this cardigan is literally the cutest thing um 
I do already have two, so like, do I need it? Probably not, but it's just so cute. I just feel like I can't leave without it. It's so freaking cute. I love the sleeves. Those are my favorite part. Um, it's also a really like nice, soft, knitted material. Um, I'm going to try to give you like a close-up of just the fabric itself. It's really, really soft. I hope you guys are get, like seeing that. It just feels like a literal like blanket on your body. Um, so yeah, really love this. I'd probably give this cardigan like a 12 out of, okay, I need to stick to regular. I would give this cardigan a 10 out of 10. Um, this crop top, I would probably give a 8 only because, um, the straps I think are a little thin and I would worry about, um, them like coming apart if you do have a larger chest, but if you don't, then like that's not like a huge thing to worry about. Um, because you can see like they're kind of pulling here for us larger chested gals. So keep that in mind. These um I would give also an eight only because they don't like pull up right here. Um so it kind of like makes it just like an at-home jogger, which they're super soft. And I'm honestly I would probably still give these pieces tens. I just am trying to like think of different numbers because I've given so many things a 10 already. So, um, yeah, we're going to do eight, eight, definitely a 10 for this cardigan. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try on okay. a couple more pieces. So, um, I just tried on this little plaid top. It is not for me at all. It's giving me like when I was in high school vibes, maybe it's for someone else. It's just not for me. I do have it in a large too, and it still is just like... I don't know she's not doing it for me I think the color is nice um, it's like a really different tone than most plaid is and it is really soft like literally everything at American Eagle um, I just would say it it's a large and it feels like it's a medium and I feel like this material might shrink a tad um, whenever I like put it actually in the wash so it would literally make it even smaller I mean you guys can see if I button it up right here and this is a large if I button it up um, it's gonna be like you just don't have a ton of like moving room um, So yeah, I feel like whenever I get like a button-up or even like a shacket Obviously, this isn't a shacket, but if I get a button-up I like it to still have like some wiggle room and even though this is a large it still doesn't really have that so I'm gonna give this one a four um, just because it's not my vibe, but literally everything else has been a ten so um I feel like having one strike out really is not the worst. Um, so next I'm going to try on, um, let's see, I think one of the um, cardigans that's over here in this corner. Okay, so this cardigan is really, really soft. Um, I love that. I will say that um, the color is coming off a little bit more yellow, so like right here it looks almost white but then under the light it looks like yellow you know like so this is like a true white and then this kind of looks yellow so i mean maybe they wanted to make it like a cream i just am getting more yellow vibes um this one also i'd probably give like a five just because it is freaking super soft but i also sized up to a large with this one as well and i kind of wanted this one to be one i could probably wear with like trousers i obviously would not wear it with these joggers um but it's just it's a large and it still is like really small and i mean i have a little extra arm room on the arms but not like a ton um so yeah i feel like i like my cardigans big and baggy so this one's not for me um but it could definitely be for someone else maybe if you wanted to wear it with like a dress or something more dainty i feel like this would be a perfect spring cardigan because if you have like a little dress even that looks like this on top i feel like this would be a really nice um cardigan to throw over that and you can't really throw over those like massive cardigans like the one i just tried on over top of dresses because i feel like it kind of buries them and like eats them so this would be a really nice spring cardigan uh, but i just don't really wear dresses so it doesn't really make sense for me um but it could definitely make sense for someone else so I give this one probably a five. another 10 out of freaking 10 and let me tell you why <laughs> it I just already know that it is um one it's soft but the fit of it I just feel like it's so boxy and I love that um imagine this if I were wearing like some beige joggers joggers beige jo joggers wow I cannot talk today and a beige hat like that would totally put this whole look together um it's super soft material and it's more of like a 
I don't know, it's not a white, it's definitely like a cream-ish, um, which I really like the color of it. And I feel like this is giving me like that 90s vibe, very like varsity um, type feel, and I think that that's really cute. So yeah, this, this one is like definitely a 10 out of 10, and I could definitely see myself wearing this a lot, um, just throwing it over something. I did size up to a large, and I feel like this is the perfect fit. I would not size up again, and usually I do have to size up to like like a lot whenever I'm like wearing hoodies and sweatshirts and stuff because of the fit that I want it to have and this is just perfect. Um, this is exactly how I'd want it to be. Um, you can see all the extra like fabric in the back. It's big, it's baggy. Um, it's just giving like super cozy vibes. Love it. Um, 10 out of 10 and I have, let's see, I think one more thing to try on and I'll let you guys know what I think of the other thing okay, once I get done. This is the last shirt that I'm going to show you guys and then I'm going to head um, out of here, probably go to Starbucks. I think I've tried on enough for today, but comment below if you guys want to see more from Aerie. Um, so this shirt is really, really thin and I feel like it's a perfect shirt for spring, but it's also not my vibe. I'd probably give this one a three and I think it's because typically when I like big oversized shirts, I like them not to like be so thin that they literally just like sit, you know, like I like to just be like comfortable and not have to worry about like, I don't know, seeing through it and I feel like this one you kind of can it's just this one's not my vibe but everything else has literally been a 10 out of 10 um other than i think literally three things but this one i think would probably be good for spring if you're wanting to wear it maybe tucked into a pair of shorts um i think when you tuck in items it kind of adds like a billowy effect and so it almost gives like the illusion that the fabric is a little bit thicker um so if you were to buy this i think this would be nice for spring and because it's more thin i think it would be nice for spring um because you don't have to worry about like feeling too hot in a t-shirt so this would be a great like spring top um i would probably wear it tucked in like this to a pair of shorts or a pair of joggers if I did get it um, but personally you guys know how I wear stuff it's usually big baggy oversized like draping off of me um, and I don't typically tuck in stuff like this but if I were to get this this is how I would wear it and I think it would look really cute like this um, but yeah it's very thin material um, I'm gonna show you guys close up so you can kind of get an idea um, this is the material up close uh, I'm gonna put my hand underneath there you guys can kind of like see the maybe the color of my finger there um so yeah it's just very thin but that i think is really good for um the spring and summer months just not my typical vibe so i'm um, gonna put these up bring home what i want and um i'm gonna head over to uh starbucks and get myself a chai tea okay, latte. i'm back in the car and on my way to starbucks right now i'm literally the worst guys when you hear this story you're gonna be like what in the actual heck so i i left my debit card at home like who am i oh my gosh so literally I tried on all those clothes and I couldn't bring anything home. And I even had that coupon that's about to expire. So I'm really gonna have to like, I'm really gonna have to like use it really soon. Um, and I guess make an order online or maybe come back in, I don't know. So I'm gonna tell you the things that I am going to buy, um, especially since I have, I literally have a 25% off coupon and a $10 coupon. And I think you can use them both in store, but I don't know if you can use them both online. So I'm definitely getting the beige cardigan. Like that's like no ifs, ands, or buts. Um, I'm going to get the crew neck, but I'm gonna see if they have the crew neck in an extra, extra large size, just cause you guys know how I am and how I like everything to be pretty much super oversized. Um, we are gonna try to move you guys around. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to get that. Um, I feel like the joggers would be really nice, but I do not need another pair of um, gray joggers. So I'm going to see if they have the joggers in beige because honestly, I could always use more beige joggers. I just have a lot of gray and if they had white, it would be even better. 
And then um, I really, really like the crop top. I feel like the crop top would go with everything. Um, so I'll probably throw that in there, especially because it's so like inexpensive. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys wanna see like the haul of what I bring home. Um, I almost always whenever i'm shopping online i always end up getting like more than i actually expected so i feel like even though i plan on just getting like those couple things um i'll end up getting more stuff also i feel like i'm missing some stuff too like i just i feel like i'm missing a few things like there were some stuff there was some stuff that I tried on that I really liked that I'm like not thinking of and maybe I'll think of it as I drive and like go get Starbucks but American Eagle like people sleep on American Eagle like all of that stuff in there you cannot even tell that it's from American Eagle and a lot of people I think I think a lot of people like think of American Eagle as like a brand that you only wear when it's like you know when you're like young or like really little but i still wear it so i absolutely love it and i'll see you guys over at starbucks thank you for choosing starbucks what can i get started for you today hi can i have a venti iced uh chai with vanilla sweet cream cold foam please of course anything else um that's all it's gonna be 642 today we'll thank you them. thank you Okay, this is the drink. It's super creamy. It's really, really sweet too. Um, so if you don't like sweet drinks and you don't like milky creamy drinks, don't get it. But it's really, really good. Um, I used to get it with chestnut praline syrup whenever they had chestnut praline. Um, but now that the season's over, they don't have it anymore. And so I just get it with sweet cream and it's really good. I'm back home and I am just gonna chill for the rest of the night. Or yeah, rest of the night. Um, I like, Got home, got my coffee, did some more emails and work, and now I'm gonna get this little video up for you guys. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys wanna see a Aerie Shop With Me video. I used to do Shop With Me's like all the freaking time, and I think it's because I liked like trying things on in store and kind of getting like feedback from you guys before I like would really pull the trigger and buy it. I mean, of course I would typically buy stuff in store, but my freaking card, I did not bring it with me, which is fine. I actually had it in my um, my uh, jogger pockets from yesterday because I ordered pizza. Anyway, um, so yeah, if you guys want to see another shop with me, let me know and subscribe if you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.